The U.S. dollar is about 60% of the value of all the currency on the planet, and more than half of the dollars reside outside the United States. The reason they, uh, every country has U.S. dollars is, first of all, that's what central banks use as a reserve currency. Second of all, oil is priced in dollars. So, this is the world, and what, we, what you see here is that these are the countries that are avoiding the U.S. dollar in trade. They're doing bilateral agreements where they'll either hold each other's currency and settle that way, or they're establishing, like right now, they're talking about a BRICS bank, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, having a bank that will do settlements between the countries directly without using the U.S. dollar. These countries, they tried to avoid using the U.S. dollar like Iran tried, and we banned them from using SWIFT. How many here have made wire transfers before? So do you know what a SWIFT number is? Yeah. It's, it's a code that you plug in, and this SWIFT system is what transfers those dollars uh, from uh, one person's account to another person's account. Well, Iran decided that they were going to sell oil only in euros. Uh, they got banned from SWIFT. But there's countries right now coming up with a replacement for SWIFT. And it doesn't use the dollar, it's the Sucre system. And Iraq started selling oil for euros. Uh, in Libya, they were talking about creating the gold dinar and, and selling oil for gold. So those are the countries that are trying to use something other than the dollar. And then you've got physical gold accumulation. I'll show you later that China is accumulating an immense amount of gold, but all the countries with an up arrow, that's gold accumulation. Then we have gold repatriation. Germany has been asking for their gold back and they're getting it. Uh, Venezuela has repatriated their gold from the Bank of England. And then if we put this on a timeline, here's the nails in the coffin for the dollar standard. This is my evidence that I think is proof that the death of the dollar is coming, and it's coming shortly. Nixon ended Bretton Woods, and we went on the dollar standard. Then the first nail in the coffin is Iraq sells oil in euros. The crisis of 2008, and we added 1.25 trillion to our base money in the United States. As we add to the base currency, people get worried about inflation. They start rushing toward gold and silver. Iran ends oil sales in dollars and they're taking commodities in trade for oil. They're taking, uh, in Turkey, they take the local currency and then buy gold in Turkey and export the gold to Iran. So they're basically selling oil for gold. They do the same thing with India. QE2, quantitative easing, that's uh, more currency printing in the United States. Libya. China and Russia bypassed the dollar. They did a bilateral trade agreement where they uh, hold each other's currency and they do direct debt settlement without having to wire transfer U.S. dollars. The Chinese president just recently said that the uh, dollar as the world's reserve currency is a product of the past. Utah recognized silver and gold as money. China and Iran bypassed the U.S. dollar with a bilateral trade agreement. Venezuela repatriates its gold. China and Japan trade directly. India and Japan bypass the U.S. dollar. Russia and Iran trade directly. Iran sells India oil for rupees and commodities. China and Brazil trade directly. Swiss citizens demand gold repatriation. African countries ban the dollar. In Zambia, you can go to jail if you use U.S. dollars. Uh, quantitative easing number three. They have announced at the Federal Reserve that they're going to be, they're starting with $40 billion of currency that they're creating each month, and now it jumps to $85 billion. That's more than one trillion a year. And remember, it took 200 years to go from no dollars to 825 billion, and now they're gonna create a trillion every year. Iran trading energy for gold. Singapore removes tax on money. Germany repatriates 150 tons of gold from the New York Fed. The citizens of Netherlands demand gold repatriation. Ecuador repatriates part of its gold reserves. Austrian citizens demanding gold repatriation. China acknowledges fundamental market shortage of gold. And now, 
the Fed is increasing the rate of printing, I said from 40 to 85 billion every month, just over a trillion per year. So those are the nails in the coffin for the dollar standard. And if you noticed, they're all speeding up and they're all happening right now. You don't have a whole lot of time. And if you wait too long, then the opportunity is gone. So these are changes in Chinese holdings. They are accumulating gold. They are getting rid of US Treasury bonds. This is gold held in China. The green line is the cumulative gold that's on this side, this scale. So it's gone from about 700 tons to almost 6,000 tons. And the past couple of years here, they have ramped up their buying. They know that the dollar standard is coming to an end and they are protecting themselves. And you're probably going to see gold back remimbi someday, the Yuan. This isn't gonna be pretty when it happens. I am not an end of worlder or a doomsday guy. All you can do is play the hand that you are dealt. If we go to a new monetary system, and I think it's absolutely inevitable, uh, there's just too much energy built up in, in this one that has to release. It has to come crashing down somehow. Uh, when that happens, there's an enormous wealth transfer uh, for people that are on one side of the bet or another and people don't realize that whether they, are, they think they are making a bet or not, they are making the bet. Uh, they are involved. This wealth transfer affects everybody whether you want to participate or not. If you're holding paper assets uh, and uh, paper currencies, you have bet one direction. If you're holding gold and, and physical assets, you've bet the opposite direction. Thanks for watching, but this is by no means the whole story. If you want the full story, including my free online-only chapters and companion videos, there's a wealth of information at ggsr21.com. Thanks.